Okay, now we have a very important rule that is to do with the chain rule. We have again come across this thing. Now let's take a simple example. Suppose I have a function. Suppose I have a function y which is x cube plus 2 the whole square. So we can lift, let x cube plus 2 be equal to say u. So in that case y is going to be u square, right? So dy by du we find out is nothing but 2u. But we don't want to find out dy by du, we need to find dy by dx. So this is at one place. To find dy by dx, we need to find du by dx. Now that you know u is x cubed plus 2, we need to find the derivative. So dy du by dx is d by dx of x cubed plus 2, that is 3x squared. Right. Now dy by dx is nothing but dy by du into du by dx. It gets cancelled and hence dy by dx is this. So that is nothing but whatever you found out. u square into 3x square, which is nothing but sorry, 2u. I'm sorry, 2u into 3x square. So 2 into x cube plus 2 into 3x square. So that gives you 6 into x square. We have done this earlier too. First we take this since there is a function, this is a function. So chain rule is generally used for composite function. When you have a function within a function, we find the derivative of the first function, then you find the derivative of the second and multiply the two. So this can be done this way. You take another example, uh, further maybe y is equal to square root of e raised to 5x. So how do you do this? First this is going to be the whole thing. This e raised to 5x, you take the whole thing as m. So it's going to be m raised to half. So if you have y is equal to m raised to half, it's nothing but 1 upon 2 root m. So this is going to be 1 upon 2 root e raised to 5x. Then you find the derivative of this function, that is e raised to 5x, which is e raised to 5x. Then find the derivative of 5x, that is 5. So ultimately it's going to be 5 e raised to 5x upon root 5 by 2 e raised to 5x. So this is how, which will eventually be nothing but 5 by 2 root e raised to 5x. So we are using the chain rule by whenever there is a composite function. We have used this earlier too, yes, but we will do it in a more focused, maybe more intense way as to how to use this. Okay, now let's take this case. Okay, just to begin, let uh, u be equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 3 the whole cube. In that case, dy by u is, sorry, u is nothing but only this much. So in that case, y will be equal to u cube. So dy by du is 3 u squared. But we need to find du by dx. du by dx is nothing but derivative of this. So it will turn out to be 4x plus 8x is 8 plus 3. Derivative of 3 is 0. Now dy by dx is nothing but dy by du into du by dx. So that is dy by du is 3u square. That is 3 into 2x square plus 8x plus 3 into 4x plus 8. So we are using the chain rule. It's basically building up the chain. You find the derivative, you go, you go first gross derivative of the gross function, then you pick the function inside it, find the derivative and multiply all the derivatives and you get the ultimate derivative. Okay, let's take this one too. So now Initial one or two examples I'll do taking the concept of u. So we can take let u be equal to x cube plus 2x plus 5. So y will turn out to be log u. So dy upon du would be 1 by u. 
that is 1 upon x cube plus 2x plus 5. Then du by dx is nothing but 3x square plus derivative of 2x2 derivative of 5 5. So dy by dx is nothing but dy by du into du by dx which ultimately will be 3x square plus 2 upon x cube plus 2x plus 5. Alright, so hence we have this. Now here you have another one. This actually is this way. y is equal to e raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5. So this is e raised to m. So dy by dm is nothing but e raised to m. So it will remain e raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5. But into derivative of this, that is 3x square plus 2. So eventually it's this into this. This is the derivative dy by dx. Is right. So this is how we are using the chain rule. Let's do this one. Suppose we have similar to that. This is now a raised to x. So this will be hence dy by dx would be a raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5 into log a to the base e into d by dx of this that is 3x square plus 2. So the derivative of this is this. Okay, now here what do we have? We have y is equal to e raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5 the whole cube. Now here we have three functions. So first we will do dy by dx. This alone we take it. Okay, so this will be just e raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5 the whole cube. Then we find the derivative of this function. d by dx of this which will be 3 times x cube plus 2x plus 5 the whole square. But still we need to move still further inside the derivative of this into 3x square plus 2. So this is like we are taking this whole thing as u, this one as v and hence we need to multiply all these and we get this as a thing. So derivative is hence we find that this particular manner we are using the chain rule effectively. Okay, here we have the same thing, similar to this. We have hence dy by dx is, so a raised to x cube plus 2x plus 5, the whole raised to 4. So we know that a raised to any variable is a raised to that variable, x cube plus 2x plus 5 raised to 4 into log a, yes, then derivative of this whole function, that is 4 x cube plus 2 x plus 5 raised to 4 minus 1, 3, into derivative of this function, that is 3 x square plus 2. So hence, this is the derivative of the whole thing. Okay.